I'm Kristen. I love eating appetizers. They're my favorite part of the meal. The only problem is I'm allergic to almost everything and everything that appetizers have in them. I went to see a nutritionist to find out what I can eat and how I can make it. I told her I really like appetizers, so she taught me how to make spinach and artichoke dip without anything I'm allergic to. It doesn't have any eggs or wheat, nothing. And now I'm going to teach you. First, what you need is a pack of chopped frozen spinach, a can of artichoke hearts, a stick of cream cheese, a little bit of garlic, it could be like this or it could be regular garlic, it doesn't matter. You're going to need a little bit of sour cream, so we're going to have to do this one first. And you're going to need something to eat it with. I prefer Tostitos, but you can eat, eat it with bread, you can eat it with crackers, anything that you want. So first what you want to do is you want to thaw the spinach. You can either thaw it in the microwave or overnight, it doesn't matter. I thawed mine overnight. And then you're going to have to drain the spinach because it's pretty watery. So you can use a strainer, whatever, I'm just using a strainer. Spinach can be pretty gross. And you want to use the entire box of spinach. Just drain it and push out some of the water. It's also okay if there's some water in there too, but you don't want it too watery. And then after you drain the spinach, you can put it into a bowl, a large bowl, just like this one. You want to take your artichoke hearts. Artichokes can be pretty strong tasting, so it's up to you uh, how much you want to put in your spinach and artichoke dip. I like to use about a half a can of the artichoke hearts. chop them pretty soft. It always tastes better if you have smaller pieces. And then you can take your chopped artichokes and put them in the bowl with your spinach. And you want to mix it up as you go, because it can start to get pretty difficult to mix it up. The next thing you want to do is take your cream cheese and put it in the microwave for about 20 seconds. I had just done that. It's just to soften the cream cheese, so it's easier to mix it. And you can add that to the bowl and mix that up really well. The cream cheese is what's going to give it the good taste, not just like you're eating raw spinach. And after that, you want to put 
a scoop of sour cream into your bowl. Just a scoop is just fine. We'll just make it more creamy. And then you want to add a little bit of garlic, just depending on your preference, however much you want. Give it more of a flavor. Mix that up really well. And then you have your spinach and artichoke dip. I like to eat it with the tostitos. Um, you can eat it with that, with the bread, like I said before. Um, you can also serve it hot or cold or how it is right now. I like to eat it how it is right now because I get really hungry making it. But you can put it in the oven, put it in the microwave, or you can put it in the refrigerator and eat it a couple hours later. It depends on whatever you want to do. And then let's see how this Very good. We can also see how other people like it. If they want it like this, they want it hot, they like it cold, well, you can see. So there. What do you think? You can try it. Really good. In the past few minutes, I have spoken to you about how to make spinach and artichoke dip. Appetizers can be the tastiest but hardest foods to make. This recipe is a quick and easy way to make one of the most famous appetizers out there. Now everyone can try some and see if it's something you're interested in making. Thank you.